Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you a photo accessory that will improve your images, almost guarantee it. Now it's gonna reduce uh, flaring, it's gonna reduce the haze, and it's gonna improve clarity and contrast. Your images will look clearer and sharper, and as an added bonus, it actually adds protection for some of your gear. Now there are many, many pro photographers that use this device. In fact, as far as I know, there aren't very many that don't use it. Now it's simple to operate, very portable, very lightweight, doesn't use any batteries, and it makes a big difference in your images. The good news is that off-brand models are a lot cheaper than those made by the camera manufacturers. In fact, they're a better choice in my opinion. I found off-brand models that are significantly cheaper, that work just as good, and they cost just about $8 or so. All right, so let's find out a little bit more about this miraculous photo device, and uh, let's get started. So you've probably already figured out that the miraculous photo device I'm talking about is the simple and humble lens shade. And it's a really simple concept actually. All you're doing is you're using the device to shade the uh, front element, the objective lens of your lens from stray light that's coming from the side. And here's why. Lenses are designed to capture and bend light. And by intentionally doing so, it's projecting a clear image onto your sensor. Well, lenses have some physical properties that bring in unintentional light, and they act just like prisms, and because of that, they bring in stray light, unintentional stray light, from the side, and it causes glare, it causes light to come inside the lens and bounce around. And so what happens is you get a lot of a light that you hadn't originally anticipated and it can cause lack of contrast, can cause the colors to go weird and all that kind of stuff. So a lens hood is really important and really helpful. All right, so what does this actually look like? Well, let's take a look at this image on the screen right now. This is a picture of my ukulele on a sofa or couch. And if you look, uh, you can see quite easily that there are these glows or these spots and uh, you might have to look even more carefully. It might not be resolving on your screen, but there's also some of these other glows and spots. There's a big, large one over here, and um, there are other actually ones that I can see with my eye that may not be visible on your screen, these other glows, these other spots. And then on the overall picture, it's also decreased. It's sort of like a haze or a film in the, um, in the contrast as well. Now let's take a look at this picture, which is the same picture. Now the light is being shaded from the lens, like on a lens hood. So look at the difference between the two. I'll go back and forth. There's the one without the lens hood, and there's the one with the lens hood. Now you might say, well, I, I prefer this one because it's lighter. Um, if you were to increase the brightness of this one, you would get to this image but you wouldn't lose the contrast. You'd still have a nice high contrast with a brighter image, and you, of course, wouldn't have those flares. So that's the difference between these two. Now, maybe you're saying, well, you know what? I could just, I could just crop out uh, to that image. And so we're gonna take that exact image and crop it to even tighter. And this is what the image looks like. You can see part of that circle right here where there is a, a flare, a little bit of that light bouncing around. But I want you to notice, if you just look in this general area in the center where it doesn't seem to be having any um, impact on the image. And there it is with the lens hood. So that's the same picture. All I did was actually crop it and resave it as an image. Uh, once again, there with low contrast and sort of that haze, and that is the image with um, a lens hood on. So it can make a really big difference on your starting on your starting image, because from there you can tune it up a little bit more. And here's here's a final image where I brightened it up a little bit, a little bit. But you'll notice the difference between this image, where um, it's sharp, it's contrasty, you're able to see detail, and this one as a starting image. Even if I were to tweak this quite a bit in uh, post processing, I wouldn't be able to get this image um, just because the starting process. And then of course I would have that that glow, that sphere over there on the right side. So lens hoods um, can make a big difference in your images. But what are some of the reasons that people don't use them? All right, so here are some of my thoughts. Some cameras simply can't mount a lens hood. And a lot of point and shoot cameras, when you turn on the camera, the lens extends 
and when you turn off the camera, the lens retracts once again. Those don't really have an easy way to mount a lens hood. Same with a, a smartphone camera. There's no real easy way to mount the lens hood. And some people think, well, you know what? I'll just put, anytime that there's a glare coming off to the side, I'll just put my hand and shade it. And that will work in a pinch. The problem is, are you always going to notice the glare? Maybe not until you get home and then you realize your images are low contrasty. Uh, do, did you even notice that there was light coming in from the side? Also, what if your subject is moving pretty quickly? Let's say you have a dog running around and you want to take a, a picture. If the lens hood was on, it would move with the lens. Otherwise, you'd have to try to block, the, let's say, the sunlight from hitting the lens while you're trying to capture that dog and possibly getting your hand in the image as well and, and therefore ruining the picture. Another thing to think about, maybe there's multiple points of light. Let's say that you're shooting at nighttime and you have multiple points of unwanted stray light coming from the edges, from the side, maybe from street lamps. Um, what you really would want to do is block the, lens, the, the light coming from multiple directions at the same time. In other words, a lens hood. So uh, I think some of the reasons that people don't use a lens hood is because there's no easy way to attach it. Another reason why I think people don't always use lens hoods is because of advertising. Now here's the thing, anytime you look in a magazine or an ad about a camera, they almost always, go check it out, they almost always advertise it without a lens hood. They show it because the lens hood kind of detracts from the picture of the camera, the image of the camera that they're trying to sell. So if you go look in magazines, you'll notice almost all cameras don't have lens hoods on them because it um, just doesn't look right, you know? And so a lot of people think, oh, you know, it looks too big or too bulky. In my opinion though, I think it makes the camera look a lot more pro. And the reason is because I, as I've hung around a lot of professional photographers and you see them in magazines, if you see them actually shooting, you're gonna see them with lens hoods on because they know the difference that it can make in the images. Another reason might be the inconvenience or the sort of bulkiness feeling that some people have with the lens hoods being on. Now I have an advantage because I shoot with mirrorless cameras. Um, it's a small camera in the, in the first place anyway. And so the, the camera itself is so small, even with a lens hood attached, it doesn't make a big difference. All the time, what I will do is I will keep the lens hood on. I never put a uh, filter on and I don't put the lens cap back on. I'll just keep the lens hood on and then I'll put this entire thing into my camera bag just like this. It's protecting the, the lens anyhow. Um, there might be a little bit of dust, but honestly, just take a, a quick blower or use a, a small wipe and get your lens clean before you start taking pictures. But that way I can just pull it out of the camera, the lens hood's ready to go, I can just turn it on and I'm ready to shoot. Maybe the biggest reason that people don't use lens hood is they simply don't know. They have no idea uh, what the lens hood is for. Uh, they might have got it with their camera and it might have come on backwards. Uh, like this because I see a lot of people out in the field that are shooting with their lens hood on backwards and I find it kind of amusing. Um, here's some pictures of a lot of people shooting with a lens hood on backwards and I think the reason is because they bought their camera, right, and it came out of the package with the lens hood on backwards simply for packaging reasons to just to save space and when they pulled it out they thought oh that's how I'm supposed to shoot with a camera it actually makes it hard to get to um, some of the zoom rings or some of the focus rings so it seems silly that they would keep it on but I've seen lots of people out there in fact I saw one professional wedding photographer shooting out here in San Diego on the beach with a lens hood on backwards. I was amazed. So, this person was probably getting paid to take these uh, engagement or wedding photographs and they had their lens hood on backwards. Anyhow, um, I think that's one of the reasons and people, and if it didn't come with a camera, they wouldn't buy one because they don't know the uh, impact that it can make on their images. All right, one final note. One great thing about lens hoods is they protect your lens and I kind of alluded to, th to that earlier. Now lens hoods comes in different sizes and different shapes. You gotta get the exact one for your particular lens. Um, these are designed so that they will shade the lens as much as possible, but some of them have these sort of pedal cutouts so that when you go wide, uh, you don't get the vignetting, you don't get actually the lens hood in the picture. But the nice thing about all of these, no matter what shape they are, is they will help protect the lens. There's very little that's gonna actually get to that lens. I mean, I suppose it's possible, but in all of my years of shooting, I've never had lens damage 
um, from something getting past the lens hood. And so it'll actually protect it from bumps and scrapes and things like that because the lens is deep inside there. I mean, look at the lens hood of this one and you'll note that it would take a lot to actually get into and touch the front element or the, the objective lens of that. Um, I've said earlier that you can buy them for very inexpensive. This one here by Fujifilm, now this came with my lens, so I didn't actually buy it separately, but this one costs about $25 to $30. I looked it up if you were to buy it separately, and it's just a piece of plastic. Now, if you were to buy this very same lens hood, uh, and you were to buy it off-brand by a company, the, one of the companies I've bought it from is JJC, it would cost $8. And it's just a piece of plastic. There's nothing special about it. Now, some of them have a, a little bit of a different texture or a coating on the inside of it. For instance, if, I'm not sure if you can see on this one. This one has sort of like a ribbing on the inside of it. That's to reduce light bouncing in and, and causing that same flare. But honestly, even just plain plastic uh, works fine. This one is an off-brand one, and it's made by that JJC company. And uh, it works just fine. And if you look at it online and compare it to the one that is made by the original camera manufacturer, they look identical. They stick on the same way and uh, they work in the, the way they're intended, which is to block the uh, light from coming in. All right, I hope that helps you and uh, helps you make a decision about your images and a really inexpensive way to improve them by using a lens hood. For more tips and tricks on how to use mirrorless lightweight cameras to make beautiful images, head on over to pocketlenses.com.